Now we realize we live in a world where all tyrants haven't yet perished. And so we're not particularly called on to be opening ourselves to tyranny. We're not talking about that. There is the matter of being wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And yet, more and more what we're finding is that we have a surrendered state to share with each other. And we're learning how to be in that surrendered state. We're learning how if someone is in a surrendered state with us, we do not take advantage of them. We do not push them. We do not oppress them. No, we, there's utter respect. And where there's a, an attitude of service, we do not take it for granted. And easily reciprocate, knowing our own surrendered state. In that state of mutual surrender, we know the high honor of divine being, the state of divine being and the state of relationship among divine being. And we begin to know that as a human being. Not all at once, I don't think, but certainly we have the opportunity to cultivate that in our relationships with each other, to let it grow, let it blossom. And then the sister and brotherhood of humankind is not only a, a vision and a hope, but begins to be a realized reality. And we find we're carrying forward the lineage together. <laughs>